Hi everyone, this is Philip Syracuse from the Horsefly Chronicles home in Easton, Pennsylvania. Over the last 10 years, my family and I have dealt with the haunting in a fairly new constructed home. You know, it wasn't up until 2014 when I decided to get the first paranormal team here to see if it was just us or was the electricity or something with the bulbs. But the truth came out that there was multiple or maybe one strong entity in the home causing the problems, which I did not believe whatsoever. I thought if anything, it was just a regular ghost. It was on my journey to contact another paranormal team a month later, only to find out similar information. And throughout the years, there's been 51 paranormal teams from around the world, including the UK. Psychics, mediums, remote viewers, Wiccan, shaman, priest, reverend, people that tried to remove what was here, including ministries. We lost those battles. We all did, and we all felt it when we did lose it. But now I'm glad to say that as of the last weekend, it's all gone now. We had NESPR come here to the home, very well known for the Warren cases. Amityville, The Conjuring, Annabelle, um, very respectable people were here at this home. And what we did find out through them and their power of faith is that the girl that said she was Sarah all along just turned out to be the demonic entity in disguise. When we found that out, we felt... Um, like we were backstabbed by a friendly ghost that we thought it was and betrayed. But now it's gone. I'm happy to say today that this is day four. The home is light, clear, no negative energy, not a shadow, not a blink of a bulb. It's gone. And you can feel that it's gone. My wife and I, my children, it's different now. The, the atmosphere in the home is completely different. So it can be done, and sometimes it's just a matter of identifying what's torturing you and your family. And it's a common theme that we've learned that a child of innocence, a ghostly child, may not be that ghostly child. It just may be your worst nightmare. So I'm making this video because we're getting a lot of emails and private messages from around the world. Is it really gone in the Horsefly Chronicles home? It's over. The fight is over. The paranormal activity is over. And the demon left. Interesting. Very interesting. It feels different here. And there's actually crosses on the walls as of two days now. They didn't fall. They didn't crack. And years ago, that would never happen. We could never get a cross to stay on the wall. Um, so it's amazing that when something is truly identified for what it really is, it doesn't care because you give it no power. It seems to just leave in its own way. So it's different now. So I'm making this um, to tell everyone it's gone. We will be doing radio interviews talking about this case. Um, in the past, I've done several hundred radio shows talking about how we cannot remove the haunting, including Coast to Coast and on um, Eminem's channel, just talking about people, whether they believe or they don't believe in ghosts or demons or whatever the case may be. But the truth is, it does exist. And for most people that don't believe, maybe that's a good thing. Because believing makes it all that much more real and that much more scary. So this is just a quick update. And again, NESPR, um, great people, very respectable Jimmy Patino, Dan Rivera, Eric Vitale, those were the three that were here. And I will let the world know, I'm sure they will at one point in time, how they did it. So everyone, thank you for following the Horsefly Chronicles case. You could check in all the past videos and teams on YouTube just by typing in the Horsefly Chronicles or do a Google search. And you'll find everything, everybody that was pretty much here. And you, there's books on the case. Um, but it's over, it's all gone, and we're happy. There's no more live feed streams going on. It's all over. 
we started a new life and the cross is staying tall on these walls. Thank you, everyone.